Even though fashion is all about change, there are many timeless pieces we can't live without. And one of our favourites of all, jeans. They've been in our lives for more than a century. Jeans first became popular in the United States and if it wasn't for the American soldiers of World War II, who knows when the rest of the world would have pulled them on. This must-have denim item might be in everyone's closet now, but there was a time they were banned in the US as they were seen as a form of rebellion against conformism. Black clothing used to be associated with mourning until Coco Chanel came along with her little black dress. But it was Audrey Hepburn who turned the simple yet elegant piece into a big deal. And a pair of stilettos will surely go well with many dresses. So it's no surprise the name shares the same origin with the word style. But they say beauty is painful, which explains why some women undergo surgery to feel more comfortable in their stilettos. Speaking of comfort, not many people might know flip-flops were called flip-flaps until the 1960s, a fashion item that became popular after World War II when soldiers returning to the US brought home their Japanese zoris. It's not an accessory many can pull off stylishly, but if you manage to, you'll sure feel cooler than you are. Archaeology and art history indicate that headgear similar to the modern beret dates back to the Bronze Age, but its mass production began in the 19th century France and Spain. Kofeya, the Middle Eastern headdress that was traditionally used to protect people from sunburn, dust and sand. And when we come to the early 2000s, we see it becomes a popular fashion accessory among youth around the world. They're all classic, timeless, and many fashionistas would agree they're essential pieces that make a stylish investment. Zeynep Gökçe, TRT World. Designer Gökay Gündoğdu joins us to dig even deeper into these classic, timeless fashion items. Welcome on our show. Thank you. So we said that there's timeless trends and fast trends. Tell me more about each of them. Fast trends are, you know, like, Trends is a long-lasting one. Like the fashion thing, when you put the fast fashion in it, so it takes more time, it pops up, and it disappears at the same fast. And for example, the pieces, the statement pieces you see around for a couple of seasons, they are the fast fashion garments, like uh, mules uh, for the latest trends, or like the statement sleeves, they are so popular nowadays, but you will not gonna see them forever. Uh, but the timeless pieces are like the major pieces you will have in your wardrobe forever like investment pieces like black uh, smart pants or pumps they're like different Still kind of yeah they're all like timeless pieces you will never tire of wearing okay so there's iconic garments as well and i want to touch upon that a bit what would you consider an iconic garment that every girl would have in her closet or like a leather jacket it will like seriously it will go for anything like you have in your wardrobe trench coat it's iconic like no need to say more or pencil skirt it it was in the offices but right now it's out of the offices you can wear it with this like slinky silk shirt or you can wear it with a sweatshirt like black pumps it's a reliable shoe like every woman would like to wear and what can we say a wrap dress it's a really like uh, universally flattering silhouette and it's that style dress mm -hmm. that you know stand the time of test of the time it's really iconic like i, I what think about like, for males for males i think jacket like black jacket like blazers a smart pants a loafers like must-haves i guess a really like good cut uh, white shirt mm -hmm. they're all i think the iconic items for men and women Okay, I want to talk about um, decades now. When we look at the 60s, 70s, 80s, and even 90s, we see a distinct style, but it exactly. seems like that, that's starting to fade year yeah. by year. Why is yeah. that happening? Because like now fashion is really fast moving. It was not like the years before. Now it's really changing really fast. But at the same time, we are looking for customization. We are looking to identify ourselves in terms of our style at the same time. So it doesn't matter like uh, what pieces, what brands you are carrying. The matter is how you carry them, like uh, what kind of like mixture you make. Like uh, you can wear a super girl with a like mango shirt, but you will carry a Birkin bag. So you will create a new style. Or you can wear trainers with a smart pen. 
fence with the plover, which is so sporty, but like even technical wear, like becomes a part of our daily life. You can go to work, you can even go to a party right now. It just reflects the mood of yourself and the style that, you know, the identity of you. So a style became an identity. So we don't need any more like the fashion pieces or the piece, designer pieces all over. So you have to just define yourself to the other people, the way you live, uh, you know, the culture that you got. So everything like related to fashion, I think is so multidisciplinary. And now like we are taking advantage of it. Okay, so, um, tell me more about a certain fashion piece and how it's evolved over the years. Oh, I would go for puffer jacket because, you know, like this season it was really popular and I think it's going to be uh, popular for the next uh, couple of seasons too. Puffer jacket was invented in 1963, 60, uh, 36, sorry, by uh, Eddie Bauer. Uh, it actually, it was um, created out of a personal necessity because he was in a fashion, uh, fishing trip and he was really almost like dying of cold and he came up with this idea and he encased the feathers and used the kilted fabric and created the puffer jacket and it was patented in uh, 1940 i guess and 1937 we started seeing different versions of it like charles james used satin and uh, made a night wear night look of this puffer jacket and then norma kamali made a sleeping back coat so like uh, uh, history witnessed different forms of it. Yeah. Well, there are puffer jackets all over the market right now. Exactly. Um, and it's very exciting to see them back. Yeah. Um, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.